Welcome back to the journey through Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days. We're on day 26, which means we're at Psalm 126 and Proverbs 26. I hope this has been a good blessing to you. If you've been on this journey this whole time, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, if you've just joined us, I encourage you to go ahead and watch this video. There will be more in the last few days of this month, and then you can go back and find the day one video and watch it at the beginning of next month so that you can continue to read Psalms and Proverbs each month by just reading five Psalms and one chapter of Proverbs each day. Allow me to pray as we begin this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come to you right now, that we can hold your word in our hands, Lord, that it can change our hearts today because it is powerful, it is living, because your spirit is alive in each person, each believer. And so, Lord, we just ask that you open our minds, open our hearts to understand, open our, our imagination to see who you are, to worship you as you deserve. And Lord, change each believer, change us for the better. Make us better disciples, better followers of Jesus Christ today. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. We we'll begin, as I said, with Psalm 126. These are all songs of ascent meaning they would be sung as they walked up the hill to Jerusalem, mainly during festivals, uh, but perhaps any time they were going to Jerusalem for worship, they would sing these songs of ascent. Psalm 126, Zion's Restoration, a song of ascents. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter then, and our tongues with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us. We were joyful. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like water courses in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though one goes along weeping, carrying the bag of seed, he will surely come back with shouts of joy, carrying his sheaves. Psalm 127, The Blessing of the Lord a song of ascents of Solomon. Unless the Lord builds a house, its builders labor over it in vain. Unless the Lord watches over a city, the watchman stays alert in vain. In vain you get up early and stay up late, working hard to have enough food. Yes, he gives sleep to the one he loves. Sons are indeed a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the sons born in one's youth. Happy is the man who has filled his quiver with them. They will never be put to shame when they speak with their enemies at the city gate. Psalm 128, Blessings for Those Who Fear God, a Song of Ascents. How happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You will surely eat what your hands have worked for. You will be happy and it will go well for you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house your children like young olive trees around your table. In this very way, the man who fears the Lord will be blessed. May the Lord bless you from Zion so that you will see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life and will see your children's children. Peace be with Israel. Psalm 129, Protection of the Oppressed, a Song of Ascents. Since my youth they have often attacked me, let Israel say, since my youth they have often attacked me, but they have not prevailed against me. Plowmen plowed over my back. They made their furrows long. The Lord is righteous. He has cut the ropes of the wicked. Let all who hate Zion be driven back in disgrace. Let them be like grass on the rooftops, which withers before it grows up, and can't even fill the hands of the reaper or the arms of the one who binds sheaves. Then none who pass by will say, May the Lord's blessing be on you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Psalm 130, Awaiting Redemption, a Song of Ascents. <clears throat> Out of the depths I call to you, Lord. Listen to my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for help. Lord, if you kept an account of iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. I wait and put my hope in his word. I wait for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. 
Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for there is faithful love with the Lord, and with him is redemption in abundance, and he will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. I have to assume that because these were, so these were songs of ascents, that people would sing them on the way up in smaller groups, perhaps, than some of the other worship psalms. Uh, they had to be shorter and easier to memorize. I'm not sure, but they tend to be shorter, at least. But those would have been worship songs. Some of those didn't sound very worshipful, did they? They were complaints, in a sense, but reminders at the same time that God will rescue. God is faithful, and his forgiveness is abundant. And so even though uh, some of those were written in times that weren't so good for Israel or for the people, uh, they still had their faith in God. These songs show that. We turn now to Proverbs 26. We are in Hezekiah's collection of Solomon's wisdom. Hezekiah found, his people found uh, some writings in the temple, and he collected these. So some of these repeat from earlier in the book, uh, but they're organized differently. And so we read them just as they are. Like snow in summer and rain at harvest, honor is inappropriate for a fool. Like a flitting sparrow or a fluttering swallow, an undeserved curse goes nowhere. A whip for a horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the backs of fools. Don't answer a fool according to his foolishness, or you'll be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his foolishness, or he'll become wise in his own eyes. The one who sends a message by a fool's hand cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like lame legs that hang limp. Giving honor to a fool is like binding a stone in a sling. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a stick with thorns brandished by the hand of a drunkard. The one who hires a fool or who hires those passing by is like an archer who wounds everyone. As a dog returns to its vomit, so also a fool repeats his foolishness. Do you see a person who is wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. The slacker says, there's a lion in the road, a lion in the public square. A door turns on its hinges and a slacker on his bed. The slacker buries his hand in the bowl. He is too weary to bring it to his mouth. In his own eyes, a slacker is wiser than seven who can answer sensibly. A person who is passing by and meddles in a quarrel that's not his is like one who grabs a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws flaming darts and deadly arrows, so is the person who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Without wood, fire goes out. Without a gossip, conflict dies down. As charcoal for embers and wood for fire, so is a quarrelsome person for kindling strife. A gossip's words are like choice food that goes down to one's innermost being. Smooth lips with an evil heart are like glaze on an earthen vessel. A hateful person disguises himself with speech and harbors deceit within. When he speaks graciously, don't believe him, for there are seven detestable things in his heart. Though his hatred is concealed by deception, his evil will be revealed in the assembly. The one who digs a pit will fall into it, and whoever rolls a stone, it will come back on him. A lying tongue hates those it crushes, and a flattering mouth causes ruin. A lot of caution against being a fool. A lot of words about what a fool looks like, and sometimes that mirror that we just looked in is painful. It's a little scary sometimes to see some of the things that relate to us, and that God is essentially calling us foolish. So. Words to live by, certainly. Words to learn from. Uh, what not to be, mostly, in that chapter. Well, that is today's reading. A little bit shorter again, but I hope it was a blessing to you. If it is, if it was, would you like this video? Would you subscribe to the channel? Would you share this with others, letting them know that they can come and hear God's Word being read aloud? Allow me to pray as we close. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again that we can take time and to, that we can read your word, that at least where I'm at, we can hold it in our hands, that we are free to assemble with other believers. Help us, Lord, to not take that for granted, that we would, Lord, take time to spend with you 
in prayer as we are now and in your word as we just have and, and more, that we would hunger and thirst for your word, for your righteousness. Lord, that we would not be drawn away and enticed by evil, by laziness. Lord, that we would actively follow you, actively pursue your will today. Help us to be a light for those around us, for our families, for our neighbors, our communities. Lord, everybody needs to hear the good news that you've preserved for us in your word. Help us to be ready and willing to share it today. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. May God bless you today.